this is Science Studio with Minute Science. Would any of you like some pie? No, 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 not that pie. This pie. All of these numbers. Just kidding. That was actually one of the first videos in the Minute Science playlist, one of the first videos on the channel period over a year ago. Pi Day recently passed, so I'll be paying tribute to that by repeating that video you just saw. A few of the things I'll say in the beginning will sound very redundant, but then we'll dive deeper into the topic. Are you ready? Would any of you like some pie? No, 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 not that pie. This pie. All of, uh, these numbers. In 1706, William Jones was the first person to ever associate the word pie with its now familiar symbol. But what is pi? Let's start off first with a familiar equation you likely saw in geometry. Circumference equals pi times diameter. If we simply isolate pi, the right hand side equals the quotient of circumference and diameter. That's it. That's the mathematical definition of pi. But why then does it never terminate? Why is pi an irrational number? This is where things get dicey, though the principle itself is rather rudimentary. You ready? Nothing in nature is perfectly circular. Got it? That's the only thing you need to accept in order for what I'm about to say to make sense. Everything has ridges, grooves, microscopic canyons. In fact, we can't even simulate perfect circles using computers because the math never terminates. That and our displays use square pixels. But that's a separate issue. But even if a perfect circle did exist, we could never accurately measure it with man-made tools down to a specific digit. Granted, that's the case for any measurement. Significant figures, anyone? Nevertheless, straight lines have definite lengths that computers can calculate. Not the case, however, for curved surfaces. So here's a way you can attempt to calculate pi. Good luck. Good luck. Let's start with a triangle. If we inscribe an equilateral triangle, that's a triangle with three equal sides, inside of a circle, we can use the sine rule to solve for the length of each side of the triangle. If we assume a circle diameter of one meter, each side of the triangle must equal approximately 0.866 meters. Now we've already encountered an irrational number, root three, and this equation never terminates, so our calculations from here on out will not be exact, but let's keep going anyway. With 0.866 meters for one side, the perimeter of the triangle is roughly 2.598. It's 0.866 times 3. As a ratio, the triangle has an outer length that is roughly 83% of the circle's length, accounting for a 17% error. Now let's move on to a square resting perfectly inside of a circle. If the diameter of the circle is 1 meter, then with some simple geometry we can calculate the side length of the square, 1 over the square root of 2, or roughly 0 0.707. Again, another irrational number. Let's just ignore it. Pi times 1 for the circle yields a circumference of 3.14159265, yada yada yada. This pi, basically. And the perimeter of the square is about 2.828 meters. As a ratio, the square has an outer length that is roughly 90% of the circle's length, accounting for, in this case, only a 10% error. Can you see where things are headed at this point? As we increase the number of equilateral sides to the shape inscribed inside the circle, we gradually approach the length of a perfect circle, ergo, the true value of pi. But the limit of the number of sides here approaches infinity. No shape, no matter how many sides it has, will ever become a true circle. This inner shape could have one billion sides for all we care. You'd be very close to pi, but not at pi. And that's why it's an approximation. That's why it never terminates. Happy late pie day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the math in this one. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Thumbs down for the opposite. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for learning with us.